The translate and edit function matches Steno from a note file you've previously read or from the writer in real time to your personal dictionary and any other selected dictionaries and creates a text file. As soon as translation has begun, you will be able to begin editing the job. In this first lesson, you will learn how to translate a note file you have previously read and saved. We will begin translating the 08.11.11 Ramirez file that we read and saved during the read lesson. The first step is to select the file you want to translate. Next, we'll select the translate and edit function. There are several different methods. You can click translate and edit on the function bar, select translate and edit from the file menu, right click to translate, or you can press the shortcut key combination, control T. The translate dialog is displayed. Your choice at the Steno source field will indicate where the file you are translating is coming from. You'll select file if the Steno is a notes file that you've previously read, named, and saved. You'll select writer when you are beginning a new real-time translation from the writer. In this lesson, we're going to translate the previously read and saved notes file named 08.11.11 Ramirez. So we'll select file. Your choice at Layout File determines how your translated notes will appear in Edit. How many lines per page, top, bottom, left, and right margins, whether or not timestamps will display, the position of the Q&A symbols, and much more. There are five sample layouts provided with the Case Catalyst software. Layout Sample 1 uses the settings that follow the NCRA guidelines for transcripts. Layout Sample 2 uses federal guidelines. The New York Court's 25 lines layout is used in the New York Supreme Court. The two Texas layouts, 9 pitch and 10 pitch, follow the guidelines of the Texas Uniform Format Manual. You can learn more about creating custom layouts in the layout lesson. For now, we'll use Layout Sample 1. The Output 2 and Record Audio options will be used for real time translation. You'll learn about these options in the Translate lesson covering real time. The Create Easy Speakers, speaker list, and defined fields functions may be used either in regular or real-time translation. However, these are more advanced features used to enhance efficiency. They are not mandatory for transcript production and therefore will not be covered in this essential skills lesson. After you are comfortable with the basic skills of transcript production, you will learn more about these features in the speaker features and field self-study guides available in the help menu. In the job section, you see the file that you selected to translate. If you change your mind about which file to translate, you can simply select a different file. The personal dictionary in the System Files folder is automatically selected. You do not need to select it. In the Additional Dictionaries section, you can select as many additional dictionaries as you want to help you translate the job. As this is the first time we're translating, there are no additional dictionaries to select. Once you've selected the options you prefer, you can save those settings. Some reporters have particular groups of translation settings specific to the type of work they're doing. For example, one group of settings for court work, another group of settings for deposition work, and another group of settings for providing CART services. Rather than remember your preferences and reselect them each time, you can quickly load a previous saved group of settings. To automatically use the last settings file used, you can check the Always Load Last Use Settings checkbox. Once you've selected the Steno file to be translated, and either load a saved settings file, or individually select the layout file and any dictionaries, you'll simply click OK to proceed with the translation. The first time you translate, Case Catalyst will present a Translation Options Wizard, a series of screens which prompt you to select your preferred translate options. We will walk through each of these options in Lesson 2, Translate Options Wizard. For now, we'll accept all of the default options and proceed with translation. The Steno from the 08.11.11 Ramirez file has been matched to the dictionary selected for translation and the results display in Edit. In the Edit lessons, you'll learn how to define anything that didn't translate properly, add title pages, certificates, and do whatever is necessary to make the file ready to deliver. For now, let's just save and close this file. There are several ways you can save and close a file. You can save the file first and then close it, or you can choose to close it and be prompted to save the file, or you can perform both actions at the same time. 
For example, you can right-click the File tab and choose Save and Close. Click the File menu and then click Close. Press the shortcut key, Ctrl F4. Or you can click the Close button on the menu bar. You can use whatever method you prefer. For now, we'll use the quickest method. We'll right-click the File tab and select Save and Close. Congratulations! You now know how to select a previously read and saved Steno Notes file and translate it. This would be a good time to practice translating a previously read and saved Steno Notes file. You can follow the instructions in the Translate Practice file in the training user.